Hi everyone! It has been uh, quite a while since I recorded a video, but it's time for me to do it again. What you can see here is the city you, where you will come later in the adventure map. The city contains several different shops, like a bookstore there, where you can buy enchanted books, and there is a sword shop too, and a potion shop, food shop, so you can buy all possible items you will need when you're playing the adventure map. And all these shops have causing some problem when updating to Minecraft 1.7 because all the villager shops are crashing the game when you're trying to use them. So I have been updating most of them at the moment, but I have still several to update so they won't crash the game. But this video will be about the fishing game. So to be able to fish we need a fishing pole and I will buy it right in this fishing shop. And here you can also see a thing I did to solve the problem with causing crashing shops. I added uh, like bedrock instead of the piston head. And to be able to fish we need a fishing license which acts as a bus ticket too. And we need a good fishing pole. We'll buy the best one. And then we can go to the fishing, take the bus to the river and go fishing. So we insert the bus ticket, wait a little bit, and then we got teleported to the correct location. When I fish, you should notice that every fish I ca catch will disappear instantly, and also. I got like some like a message saying which species it is, the weight of it, and I got payment directly. So I got like some iron ingots here. Also notice how fast I can catch fish with this fishing pole. It's like insane. It's a fishing pole with a lure eight enchantment. So it's quite crazy. And also, I decided to not add this fishing game or the puffer fish into the fishing game. So you just keep the puffer fish. But as you see, when I cut a uh, salmon, I got the payment. So this is how this works. I have a very fast clock here. And I have a command block, which clears the inventory from fish. So if I get myself a fish here. You can see the comparator there, sends a signal through, I do it another time and you may be able to see, you see it flashes really fast and I also get the message depending on uh, the fish I got to catch. So basically what happens when the signal goes through is that this dropper got a signal and drops an uh, item into the hopper and depending on if it's uh, stackable or non-stackable the signal can go through to the next dropper or it stays here and go this direction so if it goes through it sends to this dropper and it, the same thing here we have stackable item and non-stackable and if it's uh, stackable it goes through to this hop, dropper so how this works is you only want if the signal is weak from here and you got a stackable item, the signal will go through here and trigger this row of uh, command blocks, which saying it's a 200 gram perch you have uh, catched. But uh, if it go through here, we have a shorter signal here, so actually it's a little bit faster. So this piston will be activated before the signal can go through the block and the right uh, line of command blocks will not be activated. I will show you how it works here if I give myself some fishes. So if you can see here it's a short signal and only the first row command block is activated and the same thing here and the same thing here. <laughs> But here you can see 
the second row got activated and simultaneously blocking the signal to go through the first line of blocks. I'll do it one more time. You can see it's pushed, so the signal will only go through to the second row. I do it another time. So it gets pushed, and we only got the second message. And the same goes with the salmon and the clownfish, but this is just another row over here. And now, when you know how it works, we can take the bus back and we can continue the adventure. Well, the map is not done yet, but there is a version out. It's not including the fishing game yet, but I will upload it as soon as I fixed all the shops, so the game won't crash for you. Check the description for more information, and thanks for watching.